the game plan. We're not Ryan Trahan. No, we're not. <laughs> Just kidding. We're going to be spending some time at the UFO Watchtower. Definitely here tonight. I'm not sure about tomorrow night though. As always, we're just kind of free spirits, just kind of roaming around this area. So we're gonna go ahead and get our car set up and ready for the night. It is a warm 80 degrees right now, but at least it is windy, which makes it super pleasant. After getting the car set up, we decided to have some sushi that we brought from Denver for dinner and it was quite delicious. It's almost 10 p.m., it's completely pitch dark, and we're gonna go to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good morning from the UFO Watchtower. We slept pretty well, actually. We were a little concerned about how warm it was gonna be, and because we had these mesh window screens, it was perfect. I just wish we could have slept longer, but we got up early to videotape the sunrise because it was so beautiful coming over the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. So we walked over there, did that. And just a couple, it's really short information about the UFO Watchtower. This has been around since 2000. It was started by Judy as a joke. She was working at a gas station and a farmer came in and said, you know, it'd be really funny if we set up a UFO watchtower area. And she's like, you know what? I'm going to do that. She initially moved to this area to raise livestock and realized that cows don't eat sand. <laughs> so that's how it was born. And it's been growing ever since. Mm -hmm. And you can camp here. It's 15 bucks to camp here if you want to. It's dry camping. There's no water, but there are porta potties. Mm -hmm. And just be aware that there are a ton of bugs. Tons of bugs. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna have breakfast and then head into Creststone after this. Yep, the highlight of today's video is actually gonna be hopefully both Stupas and the Ziggurat, but we are gonna go back to Creststone.
made it to the ziggurat. Ooh, it's a toasty day outside. <laughs> it's 90 degrees and at least it's windy though. Agreed. At least getting here wasn't that long. It's only 1.3 miles with about 104 feet of elevation change. Yeah, I don't even think it was that. It was, we can see the car. It's right down there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so ziggurats. These are structures built out of sun-baked or sun-dried stones. And these structures are meant to connect the earth with the divine through these stairs that lead all the way up. Mm -hmm. The person who built this ziggurat bought the land in 1978. And he was also the president of Pan America Airlines. Ziggurats are reserved for royalty and priests. However, this one is open to the public from sunrise to sunset. It is 40 feet tall and an elevation of 105 feet tall. So after this, we're gonna head back to the car because it's almost one o'clock and I think it's lunchtime. After that, we're hoping to get to <laughs> both stupas or at least two of the stupas here uh, to show you a little bit more of Crestone since in our last video, we didn't show you any of this. So my wife's gonna have the cherry barbecue sandwich with the, she wants the twisted fries. And then I'm gonna have Cajun fish sandwich. And I'll do this with potato dots. Thank you. What you got in that little bag? Sweet potatoes. My favorites. Anna. Okay. Twisted fries. But we both ordered the same lunch, right? Yep. Oh, you got something different? I got the Cajun sandwich. So Anna got the cherry barbecue sandwich. I'm gonna probably still bite though. I'm gonna try it out and see how it is. Lunch was absolutely fabulous. We ate at our Food is Art Cafe. It was wonderful. They are dog friendly. And what I mean by dog friendly is that they allow dogs inside the restaurant, which was such a blessing because it is 90 degrees outside and we were gonna sit in the car with the AC blasting so poor Betsy could catch a break. We are on our way to both stupas, the stupa of enlightenment and then the bigger stupa at the end. Well, Things hardly go as uh, as you plan sometimes. <laughs> so we, oh gosh, it was such a warm day at the ziggurat, which already zapped our energy for the remainder of the plans that we had. But after lunch, we filled you in. We went to both stupas. When we got to the big stupa at the end, after such a crazy bumpy ride, we got annihilated. Mosquitoes everywhere. They are swarming. We can't even like stay here for more than like 10 seconds at a time. And there are already 30 or around Betsy. They wouldn't leave me alone enough to hold a dog and a camera. So she kept like trying to like bite them. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> so we had to uh, hustle back and we are going to tell you about the stupas here and show you more video about that. The big stupa, which we cannot pronounce, but you can find it right here, has been open to the public since 1996. It is a total of 42 feet tall. It's open from sunrise to sunset. Stupas are traditionally used to honor the spiritual teachers that are buried inside. They symbolize the body and the mind and point the way towards enlightenment and the path to realization. There are eight different kinds of stupas. This one represents the first teaching in Benares, which is, truth of suffering, cause of suffering, and the skillful means to bring about a cessation of suffering and the path to enlightenment. On the way to the big stupa, we stopped at one of the smaller stupas and we were the only ones there. It was absolutely amazing. And the mosquitoes were not nearly as bad. And that one is filled with 20,000 tassas containing sacred texts and relics. If we've learned anything in life, it's that we must make time for the things that bring us joy. You may find yourself like us, that all of a sudden you look up and a year has gone by and you barely remember it. Work and responsibilities just keep piling up all the while stress just keeps taking its silent toll on your body. 
One day, it may all stop you in your tracks, all the while you wonder what on earth happened. This is why it's important to prioritize yourself and your needs. Why you must take a break. You cannot serve yourself and others from an empty cup. So make time for yourself. Set out into an adventure with no expectations. Have fun, be present, and make memories. You may find something more unexpected and better than you ever thought possible. Off in the distance. Oh, there we go. There's Fez. Right over there. The game, game plan. plan. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we're not Ryan Trahan. <laughs> we're so, doing... Oh, go ahead. It's spectacular up there. We're all set up for the night. We're going to jump in Fez and call it a night. We're both exhausted. The sun took it out of us. So if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please hit that like and subscribe. Share with your friends, maybe who are coming to Creststone. And follow us on Instagram. Now, now the thing left to do is... Oh, <laughs> kick me out, <laughs> out of my way. Out of my way, sucker! Whee! Oh! <laughs> Get out of my way. <laughs> and that's how you end the vlog.